The possibility of war in space is always a hot topic of discussion. As our society becomes more advanced, it seems only natural for warfare to move away from the surface of the earth and instead to space. In fact, there were some worries that North Korea would detonate a nuclear bomb in space above the United States. Today, Life's Biggest Questions asks, what if we detonated a nuclear bomb in space? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe and ask us a question you have always wanted to know the answer to. The truth is, if a nuclear weapon were detonated in space, it would look a lot different from a detonation on Earth. When nuclear weapons were being tested, primarily by the US and Russia during the Cold War, they were detonated underwater, in the mountains, in Earth's atmosphere and even in space. During Project Fishbowl, the United States tested nuclear weapons at high altitudes. On July 9, 1962, during the Starfish Prime project, a 1.4 megaton nuclear bomb was detonated 250 miles or 400 kilometers above the surface of Earth. More specifically, above Johnson Island, an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. And the results were nothing short of incredible. To this day, it was the biggest nuclear bomb ever detonated in space. So here's the deal. In a vacuum like space, there is no atmosphere, which means there's no air. In order for the nuclear weapons blast to occur, there needs to be air to heat up. So when nuclear weapons are detonated in space, there's no mushroom cloud or blast wave. Blast waves are what cause most of the damage when a bomb is detonated on the surface of Earth. Instead, colossal amounts of heat and light, plus X-rays and gamma rays, shot out everywhere. Normally, X-rays and gamma rays from the sun are interrupted by the atmosphere, so we don't feel their effects. When the nuclear bomb was detonated in space, there was no fireball. The blast instead looked like a round sphere, and the entire sky became illuminated. At the same time, the radiation from the detonation caused beautiful auroras within a few thousand miles of the blast. This is because the blast releases charged particles, electrons and protons, that interact with Earth's magnetic field. Auroras occur naturally at the poles of our planet whenever there are solar flares or charged particles that reach our planet from the sun. But with the case of a detonation in space, the auroras would spread across thousands of miles of ocean, and their reflection in the water would make it a truly incredible sight. And these auroras would be visible for hours, if not days. Unfortunately, although auroras are beautiful, there would be a ton of radiation from the blast mucking about in Earth's atmosphere. These particles will create a small but powerful electromagnetic field, which could actually knock out power grids on the surface of Earth. This is known as an electromagnetic pulse, or EMP. With the case of the Starfish Prime bomb, the detonation blew out power in Hawaii, burglar alarms were set off, street lights stopped working, navigation systems and radar were useless, and no less than six satellites were disabled. And Starfish Prime was in the 60s. This was way before the internet and cell phones. These days, we are far more reliant on those things. Furthermore, the nuclear bomb used in Starfish Prime was a baby compared to the 50 megaton hydrogen bombs that currently exist. Starfish Prime had a blast that was equal to 1.4 million tons of TNT, which was 100 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. A 50 megaton nuclear blast in space would be powerful enough to wipe out all the power in Texas. In terms of warfare, detonating a nuclear bomb in space would be a powerful tool for disabling the power of an enemy country. According to a study, an EMP attack could wipe out 90% of the US population within 12 months of detonation. But the problem with that is, nuclear detonations are never good, even when they take place in space. The radioactive material that is released from a nuclear detonation in space does not go away. Instead, it spreads across the entire planet and would affect us all. Thankfully, world governments know this, so since the limited test ban treaty of 1963, there hasn't been a nuclear detonation in space. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our playlist Biggest Science Questions, clickable on the screen right now. Make sure notifications are turned on by clicking the bell, and we'll see you in the next video.